Hello everyone! Today I want to share with you a little obvious secret and at the same time a gardening hack. But before I continue on, I just want to say that it's nice to know that many people are into gardening lately. It makes me happy knowing that many people are aware of what's going on in our food supply chain, locally and globally. These people take action on what's important. Family, health, source of food, and family's economy. But we also know that not everyone can achieve the same gardening goal at the same time and at the same rate. Factors such as finances, time availability, and land availability hinder one's desire to have a garden at home. But whatever you do, make sure you do it economically and practically. Whatever it takes to have something growing in your kitchen, on your porch, or in your yard. You can also plant in containers, indoor and outdoor. You can also plant using repurposed containers. Some people will plant in water, which is what we call hydroponics. But personally, I prefer gardening in soil instead of water because soil has natural beneficial microbes and micronutrients essential for plant growth. And as I always say, if there's a will, there's always a way. Let me share with you our little story. Before we moved into this country place, we lived in an apartment in the city. That was early on in our marriage before we had kids. The little porch of the apartment we lived in was full of potted plants and we couldn't even put chairs on it. We always knew that we are not city people. So we stayed in that apartment for one year and we moved out. We moved into this country place and we've been here for 11 years now. We've experienced all kinds of memories in this place, happy ones and not so happy memories. And of course, we can only do the best we can to make this place a better place to live. The land terrain, it's hilly. The only flat area on this place is about 3 to 4 acres and that includes the flat ground where our house and a small yard are situated. The rest of the acreage, it's wooded. We live on a hill and the garden area is sloped. You may not see it clearly, but it is sloped. Before we did something to the slope, we could see water and soil washing during heavy rain on our garden. So what we did was terrace the slopey ground. We tilled and leveled the ground and put rock walls a foot and a half high in between to hold the dirt up. We lined the rock wall with landscaping mesh fabric to prevent soil from washing. We have five terrace rows just for our garden and we can add more if we need to. It took time and effort, of course, to do that, to do the terracing, but it's all worth it. We're making use of the slope ground by terracing it. Per experience, we know that ground terracing works, and we've been gardening here for 11 years. In Asia, especially in the Philippines, you may have heard of the rice terraces. It's a famous tourist attraction or destination in the Cordillera region in the Philippines. The same concept we applied on our hilly and slopey ground. And because our soil here in Tennessee is rocky and more clayish, we add soil amendments. And every year we plant clover to enrich the soil with nitrogen. We also add compost, ash, and dried leaves that fall during autumn season. Adding compost to the hole where plant and veggies grow also help a lot. So if you're watching this video and you have issues with your hilly or slopey ground, worry not because terrace gardening works. Yes, it will take time and effort to start a garden, especially if your ground is hilly or more slope. It will require for you to buy or rent the small equipment to do the job faster, especially if you want to work on a large area. We did ours by hand. We tilled and leveled the ground, piled rocks in between, and lined them with landscaping fabric, all by hand. You can do it too. Once you have the garden terraced, all you need to do is add soil amendments and maintain your garden. Also, you can see in our garden here, we have drip irrigation system, because why not? It takes time to water this size of a garden, and it's very important to do deep watering instead of shallow or surface watering. And drip irrigation system will do deep watering, and you can set up the time however long you want the watering should be. For us, we do one and a half hours to two hours of watering early in the morning. It costs money to buy drip irrigation watering system for the garden, but it has been said you either have to spend money or time to do an efficient job. So even though we don't have a lot of money, we chose to spend money on drip watering system. 
You can reuse the tapes and the dripper multiple times for as long as they last. Just make sure that you put them away and store them properly after garden season, so the drip irrigation parts last for a while. On this side of the garden, you can see trellis structures just beside the terraced garden. This is where the viney and climbing vegetables are planted, like the gourds, chayote, climbing purple yam, long beans, and malabar spinach. We try to plant vegetable varieties accordingly. We plant the vegetables in the hole we dug up, fill them with compost soil, and so far, the grass around the plants prevents soil from washing. Gardening does take time and effort, especially the weeding part. It is a tedious job. But we do it anyway to keep our garden clean and minimally weedy. Every year we plant varieties of vegetables such as tomatoes, peppers, okra, squash, green beans, long beans, potatoes, sweet potatoes, cucumbers, bitter gourd, bottle gourd, lufa, green vegetables, varieties, and herbs. As we all know, gardening takes money, time, and effort, but we do it anyway, even though in a not so ideal location and situation because it's worth it. Whether you are a novice or an expert gardener, I hope you find this video inspiring and useful. Happy gardening and thanks for watching!